I think the hardest thing to reckon with as a pastor is the persecution that comes from inside your church, from those that you know ought to stand with you who do not. I know many of you are preparing for ministry, but some of you already know what I'm talking about. That deacon, that staff member that you have invested so much time with that turns on you. The Absalom to your David, the Demas to your Timothy, the John Mark to your Paul. That person whose belief structure you share so much in common with, who turns on you because you won't acknowledge or bow down to their idol. 2020 was a difficult year for for many, many reasons. But maybe for me as pastor and as SBC president, the most difficult was that 2020 revealed that for a lot of people in our churches, their primary identity was political. It wasn't that it wasn't also Christian. They were also Christian, but the primary identity was political. We know that because a lot of church people left their churches, not just some at church, but a lot of them because of some disagreement over a relatively small political disagreement, at least small in light of the gospel and in light of eternity. Well, you didn't say enough about this particular cultural issue, so I'm leaving. You said too much, so I'm leaving. And I would say to these people, some of whom had been at our church for years, for a decade, and I would say, we agree on every point of gospel doctrine. We believe in the gospel. We believe in the authority and inerrancy of the Bible. We believe in the sanctity of life and marriage. I married your children. I walked with you through the tragedy of a death of a loved one. And now you are leaving because you disagreed because we said too much, one too many things about George Floyd. Or we said not enough about him. Or because we asked you to wear a mask for a season. Or because we did not keep the mask mandate in place long enough. We Christians say that we hate cancel culture, but it was amazing to me how so many of us canceled our church over a relatively small disagreement. And I kind of look at that and I say, no wonder, because we pastors get to disciple our people about one hour a week, and Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity and Rachel Maddow get them for three hours a night. You know, when the church gets in bed with politics, the church gets pregnant. And the offspring does not look like our heavenly father. It looks like the synagogue of Satan. 